Aussie Brick Chick here with another Micropolis City Block tour. And this one is my uh, chicken themed restaurant. I haven't given it an actual name name yet because I've only just recently updated this one. That's why I ha you haven't seen me unwrap it and pull it out of the, the plastic wrap because I'd already pulled this one out and had planned to update it. So it was looking a lot plainer. It didn't have the chick on it, chicken on it before. So this block hasn't been given a name. Um, I might pop this up on Instagram when I decide to name it. So you'll see that this one is a half block. Only a half block, but packed full of details. You'll see at the front I've got a fence line that goes all the way around and it just uses these uh, palisade bricks that are, are like bumpy that make it look like either a corrugated like colour bond fence or a moulded concrete fence. I've used the two contrasting colours of grey. I may decide to change this fence at a later date, but this is what I had on hand at the time. So this is what happens when you, <laughs> you have more blocks to build to fill in a full um, two table city uh, before you've got all the pieces and the inspiration to do stuff. So this was initially something that I thrown together really quickly to fill in, a, fill in a block at the back that people don't see so much. So looking at the car park, you'll see that I've used some minifigure stand plates. Now, uh, because I end up with an awful lot of those from time to time, I still have quite a, a, a large collection of them. I sometimes use them. Uh, if you see my airport, it's actually in my airport car park. I also use it here because it's handy to pop cars onto. Usually I pop um, a bunch more cars from my loose car collection from my Micropolis City. So moving right along. At the front here we've got a bit of concrete for the front entrance way from the car park. We've also got some little plants here like, like a low hedge. The idea being that it's a contrasting colour from the red makes that pop but also helps to break up the red. Uh, looking at the front, we've also got two different kinds of windows. You've got these clear windows that are from uh, aeroplanes or trains. I think it's from trains. Yeah, from trains, not aeroplanes. Aeroplanes have the other style of window. And these red framed windows, which match in with the red of the front of the building. I've also used these uh, bricks, the modified bricks with a handle, just for some architectural interest. Otherwise, it'll be a very, very flat front wall there. You'll notice that I've used a combo of yellow and red and a little bit of white. As you look around the corner here, you'll see that I've got some more of these um, profile bricks. These are designed to look a bit like a uh, weatherboard. At the back here I've also got a little roller door where people can access the side of the building, perhaps where the loading dock is or the kitchen. I haven't decided on that one yet. A bit more around the back. So we've got a bit of contrast so the whole building is not just red. And more around the side, same thing, got another roller door on this side for access. The front roof line is quite interesting. It has another train piece, this modified plate. It's quite often used for like sliding doors. And on top, I've got this. Uh, bow piece with a plate underneath it and it's a very nice color contrast there's also um, a plate 
underneath that's sort of sort of visually hidden by everything that's on top of it. You only really see it if you tip it up like that. And turning around to the side again, you can see the roof line. I've used some red slopes, some red bricks on top we're all tiled so we've got a combination of one by two, um, one by two tiles and two by four tiles to make up the roof and we've got this piece on top made up a combination of brick some bowed pieces, some modified bricks to make sort of an awning looking thing and then on top I've got a tile with a stud in the top and our little chicken mascot at the very top there oh come on, helps if you pop in the right spot <laughs> There we go. So that's pretty much a tour of this block. Recently all nice and updated. If you've seen my city before you may have seen this block before. But I quite like the updates I've made to it and the little little chicken icon on top. Really, really makes it look finished now it's, it's a nicely finished large chain restaurant because on micropolis city scale this is quite a big building a sprawling building but i wanted it to be big because this one lives up the back of the city it really needs to be a bit bigger on scale to be seen so what do you think guys does this block inspire you to make a restaurant chain type building in your city? Are you inspired by some of the techniques I've used? What's in your brick box that will inspire you to make something like this kind of a block for your city? Because you're going to make a city, aren't you? Yes. <laughs> I will I will get you enthused <laughs> so thanks for watching guys I really enjoy sharing my city blocks with you hopefully in the next show I should have a, an overall city video again I'll try and focus on more of the individual blocks for you in future videos so get building guys Get enthused, find those little pieces in the bottom of your brick box and get inspired and just give it a go. Put stuff together and see what comes out. Or if you're a planner, sit there in Lego Digital Designer and, and play around with some of the bricks and see what you can create. And of course, I'd really, really love to see you share on social media either on instagram facebook or Flickr. i'm on all three don't forget to tag me when you upload an image of what you've built because i would love to see what people are being inspired to build from my tutorials and my block tours so keep on building guys Thanks for you, those of you who have subscribed to me. That is really awesome. It keeps me motivated to keep doing videos like this. And as always, keep on building. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.